conceptual estimating mean? Uh, we're going to look specifically at what your your project is, the Health and Biomedical Sciences Building, um, and then specifically to, toward the Health and Biomedical Sciences, we're going to talk about the concrete. And Alana had sent me three or four. Whose whose estimates, uh, concrete estimates? Did did you? Who, which groups sent me their estimates? Because I've marked on two of them, and the I've, other one I got too late. I've got them in front of you, okay. and I put the team numbers. I'm missing team two. Okay. All right, what, I, what I'd like to do, what I'd like to do with those is, and you can just bring them up, and, and we're gonna we're gonna put it down the way everybody did it, and we're gonna compare each, and then when you walk out, at least that part, you should all have the right answer. Okay, is that fair? Um, I always start out this talk by, by saying that uh, in the 32 years that I've been doing this, I have never, ever had anyone tell me that is the right answer. Okay? So whatever answer, and I'm, we're going to give you at least part of it, whatever answer you come up with on this project, what? It's not the right answer, but what we want to know is how you thought it out, how the methodology you used to come up with whatever answer. So when I see you in how many more weeks? Uh, December 7th. On December the 7th, I will be back and I'll be judging your semester project. I'm not going to ask you any questions that you should know, but I'm going to ask you questions about how you came up with whatever you're presenting or talking about. Is that fair? So anything that you, you present or comes out of your mouth related to that project is fair game that I'm going to ask you specifically about how you came up with it. Is that fair? So, make sure you don't just shoot off at the mouth because in a lot of cases, uh, people, when they get up in front of people or there's pressure of a presentation, I've seen it a hundred times where they get up there and they feel like they have to talk and they just start talking about whatever is going through their, their mind. That's not what you're doing with this whole exercise for the semester. You're learning how to think on your feet. You're learning how to put organized thoughts and answers down, right? And then you're having to back them up in a formal presentation. And we'll talk a little bit about uh, teamwork. So, um, did I already lose your thing? Yep. Yeah, you did. All right. So I always saw it, and I know this is kind of weird because I like to write on the board. That first question, what does something cost? I'm looking for an answer. It's not a, not a rhetorical question. It, I'm looking for an answer. Because that's what she said earlier, that, that, that I have to be able to think on my feet and answer that question. And what did I tell you earlier? That whatever comes out of my mouth, what? Never, ever had anyone say, that's exactly the number that I had in my mind. There's too many variables for it. I mean, it would be strictly pure coincidence. So I ask you this question because I want, a, I want an answer. I don't want a number this time, but I want to know what does something cost? Some of your expenses. Time and money, expenses. Huh? Labor, Labor definitely. Material. Labor, material, equipment. Very good. That you're right. Is all it's, all those all those components are part of what something costs. But you're doing what everybody does when asked that question. You're getting down into the details. Right? I want you to get way back up. Yes, sir. 
You want me to lower this? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah Go please. ahead. I'm not going to write. I'll raise it when you get ready to write. Go. I want you to get way up. I'm talking perspective now. Perspective. What does something cost? Yes, sir. The amount somebody's willing to pay. The amount somebody's willing to pay is half of it. What's the other half? Depends on what the something is. That's a little bit too out there. What's the basis of, of our business? Value. Uh, contract. So what has to be part of a... Oops, forgot. What is the basis of a contract? There's how many parties, generally? Two. Two. You answered one half of it. What's the other half? Consideration. What I'm willing to sign. Consideration. Sign a contract. Okay? So, how can there be a one right answer? It's what? It's a negotiation. Always, we always equate it back to uh, your car. A car. A pickup truck. You got a pickup truck in your mind, right? What's the first thing, thing this generation does when considering that pickup truck? How much gas? Uh, goes to auto driver. Fuel? I care about fuel. It's the green generation. Oh. It goes to auto oh, it's, it's the poor generation. <laughs> you go on the web and you look and see what uh, MSN Auto says. Uh, new, new card F250, four-wheel drive with all the good bull in it. And you see what it's listed at, and then that, that gives you, what is it now? $50,000 for this King Ranch pickup truck, right? 60000 and you say, okay, that's, that's, oh my gosh, that's what it, that's what it, that's what I'm going to have to spend. Is that how you do it? Yeah. You go to autotraders.com. Well, you have that number, and then you go to the dealer, and you start looking around, you find what you want, and you start negotiating, and then they always want to, they want to distract you from what the cost is, don't they? What do they want to tell you? Well, it's got like 18 Well, yeah, they want to tell you that, but they want to get it down to, what is my monthly payment? Oh, wait a minute. Now, $60,000 and now you work it down to the monthly payment. Well, they didn't bother to tell you it's 100 months. <laughs> I can remember when, when we took loans out on cars and the longest we could get was two years. Yeah. You know, when the first time I saw a 60-month term, I thought, are you kidding me? That's five years. On a car? No, they break down before. I get the thing paid off. Well, the cars today are lasting a lot longer. You know, Mercedes Benz, they'll want to put you on a 10 year deal because that Mercedes Benz will last you forever. So they're trying to negotiate by getting you down to something that is conceivable a monthly payment. Right? And so that's how I've seen people try to argue, oh, there's no way it can cost that much. And you know what they'll do? They'll want to go right down. Did you have this, 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 this? What do you mean, did I have this, this? All you ask me is what it cost. And I'm, I'm making an argument based on the perspective. So I always start thinking, and my rule is, when you're coming up with this answer, because how many of you have read her, her proposal for health and biomedical sciences? How many of you read it? Randy's the only one that's admitted she's read it. That's probably honest. Well, you've got a whole bunch of stuff you got to be putting together. A whole bunch. So you haven't started, if you haven't read it, you better read it. Otherwise, it's going to show in the quality of your work. You know, it's like an elephant. You want to take it one bite at a time, little bites. Don't try to eat it all overnight. When we have a proposal like health and biomedical sciences, you can see it now. I mean, it's almost finished. Pull the fence down. The auditorium's about open. You're going to be able to walk in it. Probably by the time you make your presentation, you're going to be able to walk in that building and look at it. We never had that. We never had that opportunity before. It was always a concept when we were proposing. So go look at it. Get a sense. But I'm telling you, don't let yourself get bogged down by all the details because she has not given you enough information. That's the other thing. 
When you, and when they asked this information, she made a joke about uh, something sketched on a napkin. I'm going to send her. I still got it. I'm going to send her a photocopy of a napkin that we used to estimate the cost of the rec center on the Rice campus. Their budget was a box. Everybody know what a box is? Four sides. What they designed was something akin to my hand. What's the difference between a box and a building shaped like my hand? <laughs> hey, come on up here, Ezra. Everybody, this is Ezra from Tellefson. He is, he's one of the uh, estimators. That's correct. You have, you have freedom to chime in any time. Y'all say hello to Ezra. Hello. hello. How are y'all doing? Um, so I always like to do it multiple ways because it gives me a different perspective. I can, I can figure out what a, what a building costs by thinking about it in terms of dollars per square foot, cost per square foot. We can always do it by cost per quantity which is what my man here does. He takes stuff off and figures it out at the, at the very detailed level. And then cost per system. Any, anyone want to be brave enough to tell me what th the big three I'm thinking about? MEP. MEP is definitely one. HVAC. That's MEP. MEP stands for mechanical, electrical, plumbing. And we always have fire protection. That's a MEP. Structural. The structure, the concrete, is one of those big three. And then what's left? Yes. The finish. Well, I always try to think of the structure in terms of, of shell. You know, the structure and the shell. And then all the finishes. And sometimes that, that glass gets kind of split between structure and finishes. Now, what makes this such a challenge and such, such a, uh, an art is that projects in their nature are all different. So if I have a hundred health and biomedical science buildings, what is the, the, the probability that they're all going to be identical? Zero. Why? Uh, it's a little, a little too fuzzy there, Kevin. Timing. Were they all built at the same time? Because what happened to the money? Right? There's functions that are different because everyone's drawn or designed by a unique architect and engineer. So all these, all these variables make these projects unique. So there's no way they can cost the same, but it's still information. You with me? That's what the means book that we're, we're going to uh, look at uh, helps you with. It gives you that data. And then consider the amount of available information in your package for, for health and biomedical. What would you give it? Tell me. You got a floor plan. You got some, some words, some narratives describing what the building would include. What else? Structural notes. You got some structural notes, you got some sections so you can kind of get a peek on the inside. Is that it? Square footage calculation. You got square footage calculation, so you don't even have to do anything for this one, right? What don't you have? Specifically, what we're going to talk about today is concrete, right? What don't you have related to concrete? You don't have any dimensions for shear walls. You don't have any pure uh, information, structural information on the foundation. You got nothing. <laughs> I mean, did you, did you hear what he said? You got no, no, no design of the piles. You got no design of the shear walls, no dimensions, no nothing. You got nothing. What do you have? Square footage, right? So I think it's I think it's funny 
I really do. I think it's funny that y'all are giving a concrete estimate that we're going we're gonna to have some fun with. We're going to raise this thing up, we're going to put it all out there, and we're going to see just how funny <laughs> your work is. Because I, I got the answer somewhere over here. I got the answer. Okay, go to the next one, please. Yeah, I'm so glad I gave you this. Uh, easy or hard? <laughs> did, you, did you see that easy or hard? Yes. You, you want to know why I put easy or hard? Easy. Hard. <laughs> we have this discussion every week. We're going to do it the easy way, we're going to do it the hard way. So his nature is detail, information. A hard way. Mine is easy. So, for this response, what are you going to do? Easy. easy. Because this is only one part of the overall proposal, right? And I would venture to say that the price component has even got a weighted value. Because I've seen it before. What's the weighted value? 50%. 50%. Ooh, wow, now it gets more important, doesn't it? 50%. I have to remember that when we, when we ask questions. Okay. Uh, 